A blessed Father, we thank you so much. As we look unto you, speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Readiness for Christ's return. We've been having series of teaching in this program, the flying away of the saints. Just as I said on Friday, it's a theme that sounds awkward to the world, unacceptable to this present generation, obsolete, and to them, that's it. But we don't follow what trends, we follow the Lord. In no distant time, which nobody knows when it will happen, the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, will soon appear in the sky. Not every eye will see him. The saints who are ready, waiting, will hear the trump of God. This body drops, put on the heavenly body, and fly away. In Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 24, verse 27, Matthew 24, verse 27, it says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, O oh my God. As the lightning, if you have witnessed lightning, can I see your hand? Every human being, in a twinkling of an eye, no notice, the duration so supersonic, the deed is done. Everything is finished. The saints gone. The church, church I mean, the worldly church, wouldn't notice that something had gone. But those of them who may be discussing with one another all of a sudden, the person disappears. Getting out there, the news is all over. Thousands are missing. Those who never believed will believe that day. CNN will be talking. Voice of um, America all over. Nigerian newspapers will be writing. We don't understand what is happening. Saints have gone. Those who mocked Christianity, those who mocked the end time preachers, they will say we made a mistake. We made a mistake and it's unfortunate. <laughs> they can't amend it. They will wait to see the Antichrist. It's going to be catastrophic and devastating. Whatsoever we enjoy now, we enjoy because there's still grace. And once Jesus comes, Piam, the saints are gone. The door of grace closes. You pay with your dear blood. But I pray that this program, the flying away of the saints, will shake all the things that got you entangled with this world and really make you ready for that day that must come. The scripture says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east, 
and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 36. But of that day, and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. That day, that hour, that time, nobody on that sun knows. One of my junior brothers was talking to me about his pastor. He said his pastor had PhD either in physics or either two PhDs. And that his pastor is a real seasoned man of God. And that he has calculated the day everything concluded the day Jesus will come. I told him, nobody knows. He said, he's, in fact, I need to see his pastor. I was in Lagos. I went to see his pastor. We went to their church. So his pastor was putting a hand upon a girl, admiring the girl, and he was uh, telling me, this is his uh, pastor. He said, okay. Oh, you're welcome. And he continued. We didn't even have a stay up to two minutes or three to talk. <laughs> I looked at him. I came out. I said, my brother, is it the one you are talking? He said, it's your pastor. <laughs> okay, no problem. That Jesus will come in the year 2000. Jesus, the scripture is saying, no man know it. The Lord is bringing us back to the Bible. Why is error filtering the airwaves? Why? Because nobody cares to study the word. The devil had pushed people into the thing that don't satisfy. You had a pastor say, a woman he saw in the market, at the time they were closing, he closed her shop. The next day, she didn't wake up. And that's it. The enemy will be telling you, you have thousand years to stay. Oh, everything, pursue money, get money. Forget about God's word. Don't have anything to do with it. Now her world has ended. When yours will end, nobody knows. But I tell you, naked we came into this world, and naked we shall return. We came into this world with nothing the day we are going. If your people so much love you, you are a man, they give you one, something like this. Put on something like this on you. That's all. All your billions, all the things you labored for, not even a pin is going with you. Then why can't you be wise? To maximize the opportunity you have to prepare for the real you because this will decay one day but the real you will never die Jesus said like the lightning piam, piam, so shall the coming of the son of man be in Luke chapter 12 verse 40 Luke chapter 12 verse 40 Verse 40 says, Be ye therefore what? Ready also. For the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. The Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. 1 Thessalonians 
chapter 5, verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Is there any thief that is going for robbery and give the people information I'm coming at so and so time? <laughs> Whosoever that tries it had committed suicide. Because even if they don't have ammunition, they will alert those who have to come and wait for them. And they can come and go free. But just by sudden, he that will come, will come and gone with his saints. Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Revelation 16, verse 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Blessed is he that watcheth. I think either last year, two notable men of God in the world. They were calculating. They did a lot of calculation. Well respected. This one said, one was talking from England, another one was talking from Nigeria. And they were talking, the Lord is going to come as so, so and so time from the knowledge and uh, from the research work. This day I say, Lord, all of you go and keep quiet. It wasn't prediction they were making. They were trying to look at the scriptures. I said, the word said, he doesn't know. <laughs> Did you see my language? The word said that it even, it's not even a, a way when it will happen. It is in the hand of the father. Who is that word? In the beginning was the word and the word, thank you very much. Those of you who study with me, God will keep you. What you are hearing will keep you in the days, in the midst of error. In fact, all that they said, everything had passed. You know, unfortunate thing is this. To this generation, they will come out before camera and make all their uh, analysis and predictions. When that time comes, everything, nobody talks about it. And they will come up again, and the people will stand listening. But brothers, Jesus said, he doesn't know when it will happen. No angel knows. It is in the hand of the Father. But our duty is, he said, we should watch. We should watch. We should all, also ever we are doing. We are doing business. We are studying. We are anything at all. We should live in readiness for Christ's return. Dearly beloved, Jesus is coming again. In John chapter 14, John 14, from verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. Jesus our Savior is coming again. Is coming again. And we look at the, the message under the followings. One, signs 
of his coming. Signs of his coming because it is the signs that will make us get ready or will make us continue as every other person is living his or her life. Signs of his coming. And lastly, readiness for Christ's return. Signs of his coming. In Matthew chapter 24, from verse 36, Matthew chapter 24, from verse 36, the Bible says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. What are the signs? But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that they were before the flood, they were doing what? Eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until that day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what are you are lord.com praise the lord now jesus was talking about the coming of the lord he said as it were in the days of noah noah came up one day told his generation my people repent this world will be destroyed with water Noah preached. He said, old man, old age, they worry you. Go and sit down. And they came to the children. So if old age is disturbing your father, all of you are believing your father. The other day we saw all of you, all the sons of Noah. You are carrying log of wood. You are saying you are going to build boat, a ark. Mumu. So if your father had deceived you, you are following your father, carrying log of wood. In the joints where they were drinking, Noah will be coming back from the forest with the wood. The first son followed, the second, all of them. The daughter, all of them, they were carrying wood. He said, these are the deceived. Can you see? These are the deceived returning from the forest. This thing they are carrying, what is it all about? Oh, oh boy, you never hear. This Mumu father of theirs told them that the world will be destroyed with water. Uh -huh. The wood they are carrying, what is it? Ah, they said God told him to build an ark. I oh. heard uh -huh. what will happen? That all of them will enter there. As they enter there, the rain will start falling. And the rain will clear everybody. Say, hey, oh boy, yeah. This is now Mumu of the highest order. Did they follow this man? They could not enjoy you in a life. They were enjoying themselves. Jesus is the one talking. He said, as they were eating and drinking, Noah and his family, oh, godly children that are following the steps of their parents, may God keep you. May God bless you. Your peers are mocking you and saying, are you following that you are, Papa? Just come. Where are we going to enjoy ourselves? Last week, I saw a video of a church in this portacourt. My God. The kind of, I don't know what, whether, in fact, disco hall is better than this one. The Okonko dance in the village. 
It's in fact disco plus Okonko mix at the sanctuary of the Holy God. Chai. I said, these children, whom do they think God is? All the things, oh my God, the worldly, in fact, it is sinful to describe their displays in the sanctuary of the Lord. And all the youths come and see crowds and everybody was into it. Jesus said, as it were in the days of Noah, people would despise such message, such instruction, instruction, and they'll be eating and dancing and doing everything. And so it were. Why they were building the ark? The, the thing started going up. I could see them passing, looking at the structure. Some of them could even write on the wall of the ark. <laughs> this is the boat of the deceived. Make one be deceived. Me, I know. If you not see me knock at that day, count me as somebody we no know himself. The children of Noah could come and see those write-ups. They said, the God of our father we will obey. If it is deceit, we will see it. If he has gone astray, let's see. They continue building. They continue building. They think finally they finished building. Do you know one thing about this family? Oh, they are so precious. The wives did not disobey their husbands of the children. All of them Say, our in-law, that instruction he gave, he said the Lord told him, his God will be our God. They are little children, all of them. He said, all of you enter. All of them began to enter. And they entered. God told Noah, take every animal, male and female, to the section where the animal was, because it was made in partition. And they were taking them in, taking them in, taking them in. And God said, all of you enter and lock the door. The rain, little rain began. One hour, it was raining. Two hours, it was raining. 24 hours. And people say, what did they happen? Is it be like say that thing, that thing? No, boy, no go walk. Boy, let me stand on top of my stool. The water started rising. Oh boy, make I climb tree. And the, those who could climb started climbing. Some came close, knocking at the ark. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, Noah, I be your mama, brother, picking. Noah, I could see Noah. People. I'm sorry, oh. The door has been locked. The key is not in my hand. Noah, open now. Noah, I be there. All of them, as the water was rising, the tallest tree covered, the tallest mountain, by the, tall, by the time the tallest mountain had been covered with water, which means no human would be living all dead and it remained there for days only Noah and his family were rescued Jesus is saying as it were in those days so it is in these days it could be some people who saw the flyer you say well, Pastor Water is Stupid. I am not. He doesn't know what is trending. Let them continue. But a day is coming, brother. Sister, a day is coming. The hour, the time knows no man. And look at it. The whole humankind in the days of Noah, all of them perished. 
until the water receded. The ark landed. Noah and his family came out. New generation started. If God did it then, God will do it again. Now, this word in 1 Peter, 2 Peter chapter 3, 2 Peter chapter 3 from verse 10. Second Peter chapter 3 from verse 10. The Bible says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth, that's where we are, also, and the works, that's all, the structures, the bridges, the edifices, the shopping malls, and whatever, that are therein shall be what? Bound up. Now, in the days of Noah, we saw how God used water, wiped away that generation. What is ahead of us now is, he's saying, the fire, the world shall all be burnt to ashes. He said, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, brother, all these things shall be dissolved. What you are laboring for, that thing that made you not to come to Bible study, that thing that took away fellowship of the brethren from you, you are chasing after shall be dissolved. He said, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. He said, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens shall be on, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, according to his promise, look for new heavens. According to, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be what? Diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot or and blameless. And that is the essence of the flying away of the saints. Getting the saints prepared so that they will be spotless and blameless at the coming of the Lord. That's the essence of the flying away of the saints. To get the saints ready, detached from the mundane things of this world. And I pray that God will help us. God will help everyone who is desirous of seeing Jesus. So we have seen as in the days of Noah, it was water. In our days, it will be fire. Therefore, Whatsoever that will make you remain in this art when the saints are gone, my brother, fight it with all your strength. Any friendship that will keep you here when the saints are gone, my brother, destroy that friendship now. Or else, as the generation of Noah cried unto Noah when the gate of the ark had been closed, so shall many cry a bitter cry after the saints have gone. And I pray you will not be one of them here crying. Yeah, your amen is like you don't mean it. In Matthew chapter 24 from verse 7 to 8, signs of his coming. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 and verse 8. Verse 7, 
says, For nation shall rise against nation. Is it happening? Are you hearing? Is it happening in our days? You own your TV, you own your radio. Are you seeing wars? Missiles going. So all these are pointing. Now these things have been prophesied before all this began to happen. Making you to know the coming of the Lord is very close. He says, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be what? Famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We watched earthquake. In fact, the, the shopping mall where people were inside, everywhere was shaking. Everywhere was shaking. People were in perplexity all over. The flood even have names. Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Matthew. Hurricane Thomas. Am I, am, I, am I talking with people that are living in these days? I think in Spain last week. Come and see flood. Cars and lives. Many are still missing now. Now, when all these things are happening, these have been prophesied. In UAE, it was last month, the, either two months ago, the flood everywhere, in fact, is, oh my God. People were crying, people were shouting. All these are pointing to us. The coming of the Lord is drawing near. My brother, my sister, whatsoever you are doing, these things have been spoken before they began to happen. He that has ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Revelation chapter 13, signs of Christ's coming. Revelation chapter 13 from verse 11. Revelation 13, from verse 11, says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and cursed the earth and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had, done, he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Brothers and sisters, all these are coming to fulfillment. There's a gathering of a world religion bringing everybody together under one umbrella saying all of us are serving the same God. And the personality is the one motivating, carrying them, telling them, except right now it is going on a gradual way, trying to convince you that it's not only Jesus that is the Savior, that you can through this, all of us are together. Those of them who carry whatever they carry and bow whatever they bow to, we are all one serving God to hell with the devil with his deceit. The end is near. Brother, sister, the end is near. Things are happening. 
The Bible says, how are the mighty falling? Say, tell it not in God. Publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Let the daughters of Philistines rejoice. Let the daughters of uncircumcised triumph. But today, the daughters of uncircumcised, they are now saying all of us are together. Me, I'm not part of it. Everybody must answer his name. Walter can never. If it is why I'm stubborn, I will remain stubborn and see Jesus on the last day. Go and serve what you want to serve. I will stand by the ancient truth. I don't care. Because on the last day, nobody opened the gate for anybody. Yeah, whom do you submit? Rubbish. Submission, submission is what is trending. When you close your eyes in death, you go alone. Am I saying the truth? The person you submit to, an uh, angel, uh, so so and so, had been submitting to me when he's, he was in the world. He's my faithful son. Open that day, gate for him to enter. Is there anything like that? That's nonsense. People will commit all manner of evil and look for one canopy to hide. You can hide under canopy, but on the morning of resurrection, everything will be laid bare. The secret of every man of God will be made open. And therefore, brother, sister, if heaven be your goal, make up your mind. I won't miss it. I won't miss it. The Bible says, buy the truth and sell it not. Sell it not. And I'm trusting God, somebody will pick something that will take him to heaven. From verse 9 to 14, the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, from verse 9. But the wise answer, sorry, from verse 9, it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And they shall, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Brothers and sisters, the prophets we have today, is that it? Oh my God, with diverse names, doing miracles, and the devil has made things difficult. For those who are standing, so as to compel them to bow. You know what people brag with? Who attends your church? Have you had such a story? Brother, which church do you go? I said, so and so, okay. <laughs> Your church is local. In our church, so so and so attends there. The other one attends there. This other one attends there. It is the church of the big shots. It is in the world we have those class. When you close your eyes in death, all those things become irrelevant. All those things become useless. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, heaven remains real. The coming of the Lord Jesus remains real. Make up your mind that nothing on that sun will make you miss heaven. What are the signs of his coming? I've just read them. The Bible says, as the coming of the Son of Man draweth near, there shall be earthquakes. Earthquakes. This one is happening and we are seeing them, watching them. Two, intertribal wars. Nations against nations. You know the battle between Israel, Hezbollah, Iran, all the wars here and there. Am, am, am I, are, we, are we hearing them? 
All these are the signs that the end is near. All these are the signs that any moment from now, he that we come, we come. False prophets all over. Miracles is the trending. I see this, I see that. We will keep talking so that if they will repent, they will repent. If they refuse, those that would have been deceived will just be delivered. My phone rang. A young man from Italy called me. He said, Pastor, we had a program that just ended. I said, fine. How was it? Oh, Pastor, fantastic. That this young preacher from Ghana, he came to our church. Pastor, you need to invite him to your church. He will call your phone number. He will tell you everything about you. He would, I say, my brother, I don't need such. They would know, see and know your phone number, but they won't see your sinful lifestyle. Of all the people I've been, I see this, I see that. I've never seen who is Janet. I'm the one, Janet. You are coming from the house of your boyfriend. Janet, this is the fourth abortion you've committed. If you have, have you heard of, of any of such? Phone number 0807-44289. Hey, I, I'm the one. Yes. I'm hearing King Kum, King Kum. He's my grandfather. You are wearing red underwear. Exactly. Hey, you are the, have I, do I know you before? Have I seen you before? And all that, everybody is being carried away. They say, this is where it is happening. What is happening, bro? Can Apostle Paul come? What you'll be seeing is such a thing. Can Peter come? And all you'll be seeing is such a thing. Since our generation is looking for signs, people are getting power to really give them what they want. A man of God was invited to preach in a church. Before the service could start, he was, he was pressed. He said, man, my brother, do you have a restroom toilet? Let me just go and ease myself. He said, oh, this is it. He entered, finished easing himself, washed his hand with soap, took cream there, rubbed on his hand, came out. The pastor introduced him before the crowd. I, so, so, and so, this, that, that, that. He came up. He started preaching. As he was preaching, he would do his, as, just as my hand is like this. People from this end, this one will fall and tumble. Uh -huh. He was shocked. He, he, he didn't understand what was going on. As... He was preaching using his left hand. The people from this other side, they were tumbling. He said, now which kind of anointing am I carrying? So it could be this thing that is causing this is in my hand. He decided to stand as a stone and finish his message. When the service closed, he was asking his host pastor and said, I don't understand what came on me, I did my hand like this. The people from here were for... He said, oh boy, oh boy, chill it. Is it why you are troubled? He said, you see, this, the days we are living in, people want signs and wonders. If we preach the word only, they will abandon us and go to where it is happening. Did you touch that cream in the bedroom? Yes. Oh, no, no. You know, you need to look for some things to... Make people keep coming. The pastor came out of that meeting and vowed never to mount another man's pulpit. Brother, that is it. A pastor was sharing his experience. He went for a Pentecostal pastor's meeting. This is pastor's meeting. They finished the meeting. 
and they were about going. One of the organizers said, do you belong? Say, what do you mean? See, I belong to Jesus. The ring you are wearing. Ah, I saw this ring at my one I bought. Don't ever wear it again. My brother says, sure. And I saw the thing reach. He said, my leg. That is the end. He can run. Brothers and sisters, this is the end time. If you like, believe. If you don't like, believe. And Jesus has said, when the coming of the master is drawing near, all these things will fill everywhere, all to deceive the elect. Miracle seekers will be carried away and their souls will be languished. Be careful, brother. We are in the end time. Be careful, sister. We are in the end time. Signs and wonders, miracles of diverse sorts. Today, deliverance is being conducted anyhow. One pastor said, I I've forgotten the one mystic word that he openly put on the scroll message. We, we, we use mystic powers to do deliverance. It was on a scroll message. I shined my eye. I say, and yet, come and seek thousands. What is mystic power? Occult power. And that's what they, and the multitude who are gullible. Child, many we miss heaven. And in our days, where there is crowd is where it's happening. Where there is no crowd, but no wonder. Jesus said, narrow is the road that leads to heaven. Broad is the road multitudes follow there. My brother, my sister, I pray you will not be carried away by what you see. Follow Jesus. He wasn't born in a specialist hospital. You know, where do you be attend? Is it popular? In our understanding, popularity had turned to become something else. Keep it. Keep following Jesus as a stupid person when you are not stupid. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. Those who call us names, they will know we didn't make a mistake. In their popularities and whatever, they will regret. But I pray it will not be your portion. So we see the signs of his coming, earthquakes here and there, intertribal wars, nations against nations, falling away in faith by many. The Bible says, the love of many shall wax cold because iniquity shall abound. In our days, iniquity is everywhere. Iniquity is everywhere. In one church, there was the pastor brought cartons of beer. You saw it, can I see it? Every member, one, one bottle, one, one bottle. And they are drinking and celebrating and all the rest. Don't worry, they are mocking themselves. On a Sunday, another church, they brought masquerade. If you saw that one, can I see? This masquerade, it's not just ordinary masquerade. The reverend, they were all there following the masquerade. The masquerade started like with, uh, as short as I am and started growing tall. 
before, as they were beating the women, everybody, inside the sanctuary, the thing started growing. Magic being practiced. Started growing up to, I don't know how to describe it. And started coming down and returned to normal shape. They were beating everybody in the church. They were dancing. He said, this is cultural Sunday. Hey! Jesus entered into the sanctuary at Jerusalem and saw how, what was going on. He took Kupoko, flogged all of them and said, must not my house be a house of prayer, but you people have turned it into the den of thieves. It is accepted. It is trending. If you preach as I'm preaching, it's you are old time. You are not, you, you, are, you, are, you ought not to be hard. Don't worry, brother. When the bride, when he that will come, comes, and the true church flies away, all these members that carried masquerade, <laughs> one bishop cried one day, he said he was at going to from Newi to Nobi or so. I can't, I can't mention. That day, come and see masquerades blocked the road. No movement with his entourage and escort. Whether police day or no police, nobody passed. One of the masquerades came close and said, huh? and started clearing the road. I say, this is our bishop. Oh. And they started clearing the road. And they said, a masquerade was leading the car of the bishop. And started clearing the road. Started clearing the road. Every other car that follows behind, they blocked. Bishop came to church on Sunday and began to cry. That he didn't know that his church members are the ones doing all this. They will serve the devil on Saturday. They come to Sunday and say, Jesus, we love you. The man was crying. What an unholy union. What an unholy... My brother, will we continue crying? Who knows who will be rescued? We are living at the end time. A lot of things are coming into church. Secret court members have taken over enviable positions in the church. They are now the ones that decide in the dark. They are in their meeting. On Sunday, they are inside the church. Hmm. Okwe. Brother Okwe sang a song. He maybe what? Meaning things have spoiled. About 20 years ago, when things have not spoiled, only God knows. Only God knows. All manner of things go on in the church. Some of you who are looking at me, which society do you belong? Which court do you belong? You that is watching me afar off, which court do you belong? The pastor is interested in your money. He won't say what I'm like, preach like me. My brother, my sister, my ultimate goal is to save your soul. Money is not my goal. And those whose goal is money, ah, brothers and sisters, all these thousands of, upon thousands we see in churches, any day the pastor preaches as I'm preaching, the next Sunday, the number will go. They are telling them, God going to bless you. God going to do you this. God, in fact, as long as you are bringing your money and all the rest, everything is money, money, money. And souls are dying and going to hell. Nobody cares. Money. You build mansions. You build this. You build that. Brother, Jesus is not coming to rapture any superstructure. Is coming to rapture souls, not human. If you are under canopy and your soul is prepared for rapture, 
when rapture takes place, you go from under canopy. If you are in a church like this and you don't have anything to do with the God of this commission, when it happens, or to those of you who are pulpit seekers, you can go to any extent. <laughs> On Sunday morning here in Port Harcourt, it was testimony time. One of the big guys in the church came out to give testimony. He said, brethren, praise the Lord. This thing happened last year. He said, hallelujah. We thank God for this, our church. I was one of them that pioneered the removal of the former pastor. It's a big church. Attending up to at least three, four thousand. And that we are the, in fact, he began to talk. Immediately he mentioned that. I, somebody said, when so so and so mount pupit, he will be praying, sleep, come and carry me. So I got disconnected. Politics, politician inside the house of God. And they are there destroying the church of Jesus Christ. People are worshipping them because of the money. Hey, money. How long will you eat this money? Any pastor that comes, they buy him over with money. And the pastor will now be doing their bid. You preach contrary to what they want. They lie against you and tell the headquarters they remove you. That's your duty. Keep going on. But a day is coming when you will cry. A day is coming when you cry a bitter cry in hell. The truth you rejected, you will know is that truth that sets free. And brothers and sisters, one of the signs of his coming, false prophets, false teachers will be everywhere. The love of many shall wax cold. Why I live the way I do, why I preach the way I preach, is this. I know a day is coming when I will no longer be here. Secondly, this is opportunity I have to tell my generation the truth. Thirdly, when I'm going, nobody escorts me. I'm going alone to give account. Therefore, I don't care who is happy or who is not happy. I don't like him. No problem. I don't even need you. I like me. But if I please he who called me, whom I will give account, I've done a a wonderful job. Sister, brother, make up your mind. Heaven remains real. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man after gaining the whole things of this world? The riches, the wealth, the money, just name it. You lose your soul. Solomon said, all is vanity upon vanity all is be wise run for your dear life lastly readiness for Christ's return Matthew 24 36 to 51 Matthew 24 from verse 36 but of that day an hour no wait, no man. No, not the angels of God, but my father. But my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days of, as in the days that were before the flood, they were doing what? Eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be then then shall two be in the field 
the one shall be taken and the other left. Look up everybody. This is one of the frightening things of this great event that is imminent. And what is it? Two people will be in a field. Bam! One person will go, another will be left behind. This is my friend, my friend, 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 friend. My brother, learn it. It is so so and so that brought me to the church. If the individual brought you to the church and decides to leave, you are not Obanje. Let him go. I don't like this church. No problem. Anywhere you find it better, go. But make sure we see there. Look at it. You see, two people will be walking. One person will be taken. The other will be left behind. The question is, will you be among the person to be left behind? Or will you be among the person that will be taken? Which means, there's nothing like my husband and my wife. If your wife decides to go the other way, my brother, my father died at the age of 92. The casket was in front. My mom was sitting like this before the casket. That's the last respect. When his body was being lowered, my mom didn't go with him. Brother, a day is coming, whether in life or in, or in rapture, whether in death or in rapture, one will go, another will not follow. If life is like that, make up your mind, brother. No matter what people will say, if you have discovered the truth, Remain with the truth. Die with the truth. Don't listen to any man. The much they can do is to come on your bad day. Give you some gifts. Hail you. Praise you. And all that. But once you are being lowered, that love terminates at the graveside through our force. To me, it's rubbish. Since you can't go with me, Mm -mm. forget it leave me let me live my life for Jesus brothers and sisters he says verse 40 then shall two be in the field the one shall be taken and the other left two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken and the other left two women will be in the market those of us who are in the market Market, business, business. You don't care of anything. You can even fight in the market. You can't preach in the market. You can't tell somebody about Jesus. Look at it. Verse 41. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. What's the admonition? Watch therefore. For ye know not what are you are Lord. Dot com. I pray we, nobody will be taken unawares. Matthew chapter 25 from verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made. Behold the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise... Give us your oil, for our lamp are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, 
I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. I pray the coming of the Lord will not take you unawares, unprepared. May you be ready. I say, may you be ready. Mark chapter 13 from verse 32. Mark 13 from verse 32. From verse 32, the Bible says, But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray. For ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch watch ye therefore for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock ring or in the morning lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping and what I say unto you I say unto all do what watch you know i disciplined some workers because they were sleeping one said is it because i sleep which sin have i committed hmm. brothers and sisters in any force where there is no order Disorderliness. Cacophony would be everywhere. The brother is not here, he's hearing me. A senior lawyer who went for the training of uh, this uh, drug enforcement something. A senior lawyer. He sent me some pictures. He said, Pastor, come and see your son, or see the way. I was being robbed in the mud. Whatsoever you are, you are this. As soon as you enter the training ground, you carry it and throw it away. Everybody will be on potter potter. You'll be rolling. Just it's part of the drilling. You'll be rolling your body. You don't do that. The flogging will be terrible. And all the rest. Everybody robbed. He said, the kind of drilling, it was terrible. It was painful. But after the drilling, he now came out. So why did they not regard him being a senior lawyer? For you to lead the recruits. Why people, you must go through what they went through. You must know what they know. So that if you sit as a, an ogre, aha, if you try to bring, say, whatever you think I've gone there, you have to take this instruction. Now, let me tell you, there must be standard. A force is not where you just come and do anyhow. Anything can disqualify you. And Jesus said, watch and pray, lest when he comes, he sees you sleeping. Sleeping at that time will be a crime. A thing that will disqualify you. You know, when message is going on and you are sleeping, in fact, that's a problem. Something that would have helped you to really get to where you are going. Since you didn't hear it, you can't make use of it. And that disqualifies you. And so, brethren, in as long as you are under me, anything I know I can do to make sure you enter, I will do. If it demands me flogging you, you will call me names. After calling me names, when you enter, say, Daddy, thank you for the way you handled me. If not, I would, I would have been the other side crying with them. 
You know, people feel that discipline is destruction. No. You have a son. You cannot flog. Nobody touches that child. That child will become useless. I remember the, the beating, the flogging my wife gave to our first daughter. In fact, it was she went for exam and he said, who gave you this mark? He said, it's my mom. And that's it. And that thing helped her. Some of you contributed to what your children are passing through. No, they are sacred cow. Nobody will touch. Nobody touches them. You allow them anyhow they want. He said, but pastor, they don't know anything. They are two years old. Who told you? That is... If you can't bend iron when it's red, when it becomes cold, can you bend it? No discipline. Your children will do. If, if your husband will talk, he say, eh, you want to kill him because you are not the one that carried him. And the children are hearing it. They are seeing you as mommy's pate and they are seeing their father as wicked. Or it may be the father saying that, eh, you don't know what it took me to have this boy. That's why you are punishing him like this. Tomorrow, you will be the one that will cry. You will be the one that will cry. My brother, my sister, heaven is not an easy place. There are churches you go, do whatever thing you like, nobody cares. The interest is since your tithe is coming in, no wahala. One politician came, said, Pastor, this is my senior wife. This is my junior wife. After presenting the woman, I don't know what transpired. That's the first time they came to church. The other time, I was seeing him with his senior wife. That's his language. And I had been coming. So something happened. He said, he came to church. He came alone. He told his wife, come home, his senior wife. They have seen a church where they will worship. He said, pastor, we went to a church and we discovered that the ladies there, the thing that led me into the second wife, He's trying to lead me into it. I told my wife, let us go out. Let's run. And we ran away. Over there, it doesn't matter. But when trumpet sounds, brother, without holiness, no man, no bishop, no general overseer shall see the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall do what? Matthew 5, 8. Brothers and sisters, remove your eyes from what is trending. Fix your eyes on the word of God. Whatsoever they are saying, leave them alone with their saying. Jesus said, you see these Pharisees, you see them with all their things they are doing? If they tell you to do good, do good, but don't follow their ways. On the last day, they will suffer. Make up your mind. Heaven remains real, and you will be there. Steps to joining the saints. What are the practical steps one should take that will qualify him or her to fly away with the saints. Number one, separate yourself from sin and sinners. Separate yourself. You see somebody whose life is not what it ought to be, who is after the earthly things, Detach yourself from such a person. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Second Corinthians chapter 6. From verse 14. 
It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? And what concord had Christ with Belial? And what part had he that believed with an infidel? And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore do what? Come out from among them, and be ye what? Separate, says the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And we be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Brother, you want to join the saints to fly at rapture. Separate from sin and sinners. Separate from any man of God that was standing on the truth before. And now change. Forget about what he stood before. Because what he stood before cannot alter what he's currently doing. Stand by the word. Rescue your soul. He says, separate yourself. Who is your friend? Who is the one that is making you love the things you hated before? Delete his number or delete her number. Who are your fellow classmates? And you know their lifestyle will draw you back to your vomit. Put them at arm's length. I had a pastor friend many years ago. We were together in my former church. He left very long time. We met in South Korea. Oh, we were so happy. We hugged ourselves. He said, my brother, how? Where this? So we came back. We exchanged numbers. After one or two years or three years, my phone rang. It was him. He came down here. said, I'm in Port Harcourt. I said, wow. He came down and looked everywhere. I said, my brother, we will make you bishop. What I have seen now, we will make you bishop. Why? My countenance changed. He didn't know. I said, no, I can't continue with this man. He finished and left. I deleted his number. He's a bishop. He doesn't have congregation. It's a title. And he had it many years ago. I deleted his number. Because if I follow up, if he be my friend, I will begin to desire what... Bishop is a good something. It has nothing, no sin in it. That's, it's an office, biblically backed up. But how can somebody be a bishop without a congregation? Whom are you shepherding? I said, no. Since his ambition is on the title, I deleted his number. After some years... I finished preaching on radio. My phone rang. Somebody called me and said, I am so, so, and so. The name, the surname sounded like the surname of my friend. I said, do you know so, so, and so? He said, it's my uncle. I said, how is he? He said, he's now in the village. This man has been traveling for years. He was one of them that brought David Yongi Cho to Nigeria. He's now in the village. My brother, make up your mind. Decide. Because of heaven, not everybody will be your friend. Am I talking to somebody? Because of heaven. Because of heaven. I didn't know things like that. It's just somebody that called the name. The son name sounded like the name. He said he's now in the village. I said, what is he doing? He said, nothing. Mm. 
I pray it will not be a portion. You are amen is like you don't believe what I'm saying. Make up your mind. Number one, separate yourself from sin and sin. Number two, understand that your redemption is closer than when you first believed. Don't look back. Understand that your redemption is closer than the first time you believed. Don't think of going back. No matter what happens, no matter what comes on your way, temptation may be there. The enemy, people may be suggesting, pushing you. Don't. You've covered a lot of grounds. Going back will be disastrous. Continue. Keep holding on to the Lord. Things are difficult. Suggestion, why not take this and rob? Why not go to this place? Why not do this? Why not do that? Tell them you will not do, even if I don't get what I'm looking for. But get heaven, I'm okay. Number three, live with eternity in view. Live your life with the un eternity in view. I will explain. Those who are in business, as people tell all manner of lies and deceive so as to make more gain. If I tell all these lies as they want me to tell it, I will miss heaven. My dear, I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, you, get, you make money. Just put for us 200,000. We will give you 50,000 out of it. This is a product of 50,000. And the people that were sent to come and buy for the company added 150,000 for themselves. Say, so right, they receive 200,000. Oh boy, we will use uh, 50,000. Say, I'm sorry. I'm a child of God, even in, in the market. I don't do such. You can go somewhere. Now, oh boy, shit, rubbish. They get to your neighbor. You say, ah, you see, I know no say this man, a mumu of the highest order. Say, what did happen? You know, I come, that thing, they, they're selling 50,000. I told him, write 200. I go, you give him 50,000. What did he talk? He said, you know, they, oh, you know, no. Hey, show. The man know they do that kind, you know. Now, nah, pastor, him be. Say, oh boy, if you want to make I write 300,000, I hope you give me 100. Anything you want to make I write, I go write them for you. Now, nah, money where will they find? Me, I be deacon for my church. The money where will they take build church? How are they get them? Not nah, through this way. I go, just write. And they supplied and went. A day came. And they said, oh boy, did you see those customers? Yeah, oh boy, I saw them. I know, say, you're not going to do that kind of thing now. They leave us, leave us, leave us. Now, a business, where would they do? The company sent somebody who came and discovered it was 50,000 Naira. They went to the shop of the church person. And they discovered the price is 50,000 Naira. They sacked the supplier. They said, Oga, you are everything for us. This time around, all we'll be doing is, we just send you texts. We can't, we will no longer doubt you because we've known, everybody had testified that you are sincere. That's a child of God. That's somebody who is heaven bound. That's somebody who is conscious of seeing him in glory. My brother, my sister, or you are in the office and they're saying, if you don't wait my palm, your file no go come out. Civil servants are they here. When they say you need to wait my palm, you know what, what in the talk. Oga, wait my palm. Find me something. If you know, fine. Where that file there, eh? It will take uh, two weeks to get them. Already, file is just 
at the cupboard. File is just at the cupboard. Um, waiting in the talk, I just wait my pan. Once you do, um, I go tell somebody. In fact, you come next month. Because he go, a lot of files, they don't pack, pack, pack. He said, but uh, August told me he signed it yesterday. Don't mind. You know, these are August. The thing where they do. Say, in the come, chill. Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Where is the file, sir? Uh, uh, that's what I'm, we are trying to. I, I will just give it to him. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. You heard what he said. That's Oga. Oga don't chop his own. Me, I want my own. I they tell you now, I want my own. Give me my own so that you have your way. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I pray God will help you. Your amen is like you don't believe it. May God help you to scale through in Jesus' name. Number four, watch and pray. Live a life of watchfulness. Sister, brother, for you to be among the number, live a life of watchfulness. Watch what you eat. Watch the friends you make, you keep. Watch places you go to. Watch a lot. Somebody bought a car and came in here for me to pray. The first question I asked my brother, where are you working to get the money to buy this car? He told me where he's working. He told me what he's doing. I said, okay. We can pray. I prayed. He left. Another one bought. Came with a jeep. I said, where is your wife? Um, because I knew this one. Um, it, I said, about turn. Enter this your car. Leave this premises before I open my eyes. Sluggishly, he entered the car, zoomed off. The wife is in the village. The, his girlfriend, he kept her at Yam Zone there. Bought the things for me, put them inside the car. I said, everything you came with, carry them, leave this. When the children heard about it, it was the children that were telling me, Daddy, he kept his girlfriend in the Yam Zone. And he drove into here to come and collect my blessing to go and continue with his iniquity. I told him, carry everything and go. I don't need. Mm -hmm. Brethren, they bought a car for a mother on her bad day. The boy came with his two friends. And they were celebrating, say, Mama, with this car is for your celebration. This car. The mother was crying. The mother said, My son, I'm paying your school fees. Where did you get money to buy a car? My son, I didn't kill you while you were in the womb. You want to kill me? I will not enter. They persuaded this woman, did everything for this woman to enter the car. The woman said, no. You are wicked. I carried you nine months. I didn't kill you. You want to use me for ritual? You watch this. Can I see your hand? Oh. The woman said she cannot. Parents, ask your children what are they doing. Not they are bringing money you are in the chop. One day you go chop yourself. A child that is in the school, you are sending money. All of a sudden, bought, in fact, he, built, he bought a building here, bought another one there, bought another one. What is he doing? What is the source of the money? Nobody cares. And you are celebrating evil. One day they will use you to complete the number. Am I talking to somebody? 
they will use it to complete the number. Tell them to carry go. One built house. They said, the son, you, somebody called him and said, your compound is another America. I said, what are you talking? You are son. I was told the man got to the compound. So what is it? And he was saying, come, enter. He said, no. Hmm. I don't know how this money came. He entered his vehicle and went back. If you support evil, evil will reach you. Those who are heavenly conscious don't eat anyhow. You eat anyhow, you die anyhow. Am I talking to somebody? They don't eat anyhow. You eat anyhow, you die anyhow. Make up your mind. This heaven, I must be there. It's better you move with your Legacy Benz than drive with Mercedes Benz and lose your precious jewel. I came into Port Harcourt when I sold my car. I was using my Legacy Benz. Moving all over Port Harcourt. They were carrying news here and there. He's the worst mumu. I said, no problem. Let them mock you. Mockery is for a while. Celebration will take over mockery later. If you be patient with the Lord, he will grant you your heart desire. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us we must get ready for the coming of the Lord. Number five, don't miss the fellowship of the brethren. Apostle Paul writing to the church at Hebrews, he said, as the manner of some is, don't follow them to abscond from the fellowship of the brethren. Number six, remember that we came into this world with nothing. And when we shall be going, we go with nothing. We came into this world with nothing. When we are going, we go with nothing. Number seven, keep giving for the advancement of the kingdom. Keep giving for the advancement of the kingdom. Eight, be a soul winner. Be a soul winner. Let the rest part of your life be spent in soul winning. And lastly, remember that nobody knows the time. It can take place any moment, any time. Be ye ready for the coming of the Lord. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. I will be ready. Shall we stand on our feet? I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Oh yes, I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. 
Oh, I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. When the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching go marching in oh, when the saints go marching in when the saints go marching in Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching, go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching, go marching in when the saints, when the saints go marching in, go marching in when the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching, go marching in when the saints, when the saints go marching in, go marching in when the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching. When the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in. To be in that number when the saints go marching. Close your eyes and pray after me. My God, my Father, I've made up my mind. I must go to heaven. Whatsoever it will cost me, I'm ready to pay the price. Oh Lord God, give me your grace. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Daddy, I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. Heaven is my goal. Whatsoever it will cost me to enter, give me grace. Daddy, I need your grace in the dark to continue on the narrow way. I need your grace in the light to continue on this narrow way. Lord, I need your grace. The grace to stand on the ancient truth. Oh God, give me grace. I need your grace to continue the race. I need your grace to continue. Lord, I need your grace. Lord, I need your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you today. Without you, I can do nothing. Lord, I need you today. Oh, Lord, 
I need you, Lord, I need you, Lord, I need you today. Without you, I can do nothing. Lord, I need you today. Oh, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you today. Without you, I can do nothing. Lord, I need you today. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, the journey is far. On the road are a lot of bottlenecks, broken bottles are on the road. To maneuver, we need the Lord's grace. The devil had heard all we have said. He's waiting for us out there. We are telling the Lord, Daddy, we need your grace. Open your mouth and begin to cry unto God, Daddy, I need your grace to run this race and finally join the saints to fly away. Daddy, I need your grace. In the market, to remain a Christian, I need your grace. In the office, to remain rapturable, I need your grace. Anywhere in the school, to stand alone. Daddy, I need your grace to stand alone. Daddy, I need your grace to stand alone for you. I need your grace in the morning. I need your grace in the night. I need your grace in the noon. When my friends are calling me names, when my associates are calling me names, I need your grace to stand. I need your grace to stand. Lord, I need your grace. Daddy, I need your grace. I want you to call upon God. My brother, pray. My sister, pray. Daddy, I need your grace. I want you to open your mouth. My brother, pray. I've never been to heaven before. You have never been there before. We are asking God, Daddy, we need your grace to make it. Daddy, I need your grace to make it. Oh Lord, I need your grace to enter. I need your grace. The world is waiting to see me. The devil is waiting to see me. Daddy, give me grace to overcome. Give me grace to stand for you. Give me grace to stand alone. Daddy, until I see you in heaven. My brother, pray. My sister, pray. Lord, I ask the Lord, Lord, give me grace to live a holy and righteous life. You are not born again. You better cry to God, God, save my soul. I don't want to continue living a useless life. Heaven remains real. Lord, save my soul. Take a decision after this service. Delete some people's number from your phone. Separate from those who are not helping you to live a holy life. Don't walk in their midst. Live for Jesus. Lord, I need your grace. Cry unto God, brother.
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. But once again, I want you to see, pray that God will give you the grace, give every one of us the grace. So it's easy sometimes to see people that you know men looking at them, you know that you are better than them. But they will laughing at you, seeing as if, seeing you as somebody that is wearing back of his or her clothes. That's why you must cry unto God to give you the grace. I want you to pray once again. Pray that God will give you the grace. While I pray that God will give me also the grace to overcome, to make it to heaven. I want you to open your mouth and cry once again. It's only those that overcome, only those that overcome that will hear the trumpet. Open your mouth and cry unto God to give you the grace to overcome. When you see people that you know you senior them by many years, mocking you, laughing at you, if not the grace, you can't endure. Pray that God will give you more grace to continue. Remember, you've covered more ground, more kilometers than what is remaining. There's no need for going back. Pray for the grace of God. Pray that the grace of God will abound unto you. And the grace of God will abound to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this timely message. King of glory, glorify your holy name. We say, may your name and know be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, now I'm praying for everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice that you give us the grace the grace to make it to heaven give to each and every one of us in the name of jesus the grace to live a watchful and prayerful life give to everyone in the name of jesus but i'm praying for adventure the trumpet sounds while we are here now of a minute to come may no one that Listen to this message. Be found wanting in the name of Jesus. In God's glory, as we live today, O oh God, may we continue to meditate on this message. May we continue to meditate on it. And as we continue to meditate, O oh God, I'm praying that your spirit will minister to each and every one of us more and more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for I know it is done. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.